Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Nutrition, a mod that's not as well known and actually underrated, but I find quite tasty. So as you can see, I am surrounded by an assortment of different foods, uh, including a double chest filled with all sorts of vanilla foods in here. The Nutrition mod is often confused with Spice of Life. It is actually very different. Uh, it does have its benefits and its negatives, but primarily people tend to see the benefits of it. Uh, now, to give an example of how this mod works, you open up your inventory, and you should have te uh, a little new icon over here with a carrot on it. Now, it is a highly configurable mod, so you can actually change it as you want. You can even move where this icon is if it's interfering with like other icons nearby or something like that. But you just click on it, and it shows you your nutrition. Now, when by default, it's set up uh, when you spawn into the world, you, you have about 50% uh, nutrition on five different food groups. Dairy, fruit, grain, protein, and vegetable. And each different type of food, if you hover over it, uh, should give you a different value. If you look here, we've got like uh, raw pork chop is 1.5% protein. Uh, raw Sam, actually let's look at cooked chicken, 3% protein. Ooh, pretty good. Steak, 4% protein. Oh my gosh, you go into a cake, you get dairy, grain, and protein, 0.7%. So a little bit less, but multiple different things on top of that. So it, it can be really interesting. What is the benefit of each of these things? Well, if you get any of these up above a certain threshold, in this case, by default, it's set at 90%, it will give you a benefit. So I have set up here a command block that is, is uh, expected to just give a hunger value. So I just step on it and I get, uh, you know, hunger two for a few seconds. So let's just stand there. Wow. Yeah, really, really hungry. Uh, but I can then eat all sorts of stuff in here and get the benefits of that. So if, let's grab a bunch of cooked chicken here uh, and I eat this. I'll just stand on this and I'll keep eating. And I think I need to just keep on re-standing on this. And you'll see that my value for protein uh, is pretty much gone up several fold uh, here. There we go, protein up 45%. Now I spawned into the world and I actually did die in a little bit of testing something. Uh, for instance, let me put this chicken back. If I were to die, uh, perhaps from, uh, you know, different lack of food or, or whatever, maybe a fall from a great height, uh, one would never know. But if you die, uh, you could feasibly lose some of the benefit. Now by respawning into the world, there is a certain minimum though. If I go back in, look in here, you see everything is down to 30%. That is the default setting for the nutrition mod. Now it can be increased or decreased or changed or removed completely, but uh, currently if you die, that is the, uh, the default setting that it will go to minimum. So you lose about 15% on a death, uh, but I think that's, that's pretty fair. Uh, otherwise, you can continue eating all sorts of stuff. I mean, look at this rabbit stew, 4.3%. That's really good. So what kind of benefits do you gain? And as you can see here, I've been eating a whole bunch of steak and given myself a lot of, well, food debuffs. You'll notice that the other nutrients uh, or nutrition values have dropped in the process. That's because I pretty much have focused on this. Now there's a very slight decay value, uh, depending on the number of hunger and things of that that you can uh, uh, get in there. But more or less, as long as you keep eating foods that are somewhat balanced, you know, you rotate through, you should be able to stay above the decay very easily. It's not a very high decay value. Uh, in this case, I was just eating nonstop steaks and getting a large hunger debuff from my little uh, setup here. But what I ended up getting was Toughness. I gain two extra hearts uh, while I have my value of this above 90%. Currently, I just ate the last one there. I'm at 100%. So what happens if I get multiples? Now, as you can see here, I have full nutrition. I am very well nourished. Uh, I, I have been eating quite a bit of food. Uh, in fact, I, I have a gluttony charm from... <laughs> from Dark Utilities in here just to help me eat things faster, as you can see. Uh, but I also changed the config so that, uh, now this is not by default, but you can change the configs so that you can just eat things even though you're full. Therefore, you can go really crazy and just eat everything. <laughs> uh, and of course, I gain toughness of multiple levels, strength and resistance. Plus, I've got a whole nother bar of health. 
So I'm very resilient at this point just from eating a balanced diet regularly. Now, of course, not everything is going to return stuff that is food, like you've got your rotten flesh, spider eyes that, that will just give you bad things. You know, as you can see, I, I now have poison and so on, but I'm, I'm also resisting some of it because of my current other abilities that I have, which are, are helping offset that. I, I, I'm probably really well saturated at this point. Eat some of that. In fact, I'll probably just have some milk. And that should offset any kind of issues. And now the thing is, just drinking that just there, everything went away, but it just came back again. It's just a little visual thing, that's all. Sometimes if you have dropped down below your threshold of 90%, you might actually see down here uh, your hearts will be empty and they won't fill up. It's just a little bit of a rendering glitch that uh, sometimes might need a refresh. So if you log out back in again, those hearts will actually be gone or uh, uh, so on. But they, they should actually be there if you have them and filled. So you don't need to worry about that. So we've seen what happens when you gain at least one or more items for nutrition. What happens if you have very little? Uh, well, you suffer from something I'm going to refer to as malnutrition. In this case, I've got weakness and mining fatigue. It's going to make it very difficult to actually get around when you're moving in slow motion, breaking blocks and other such. So therefore, you're, you will be slightly punished when you drop to such a low level, but as long as you have some nutrition levels going, you should be all right. Now, of course, there are some that will give more than others. I mean, this one gives some like a golden apple instead of the the golden apple. It's like a, a notch apple, basically. It will give you 0.8% on all of them. So it's a really good source of food. Plus, um, if you just keep on eating them, you know, of course, they're really expensive to make as it is, but or, or find, but you you get all the benefits from that, and it will give you a little bit at a time. But I mean, there there are many other options, and in fact, this is not just limited to the vanilla mechanics. This can work very well with things like uh, Pam's Harvest Craft or other uh, food addition mods, uh, especially like um, uh, food or hunger overhaul is another one that will add in specific. Uh, potion effects depending upon the nutritional value that you may have uh, from these things. And, I mean, look at this chorus fruit. You, you even get fruit from the chorus fruit. Uh, but some of the things that are a little bit iffy is that uh, if I look in my JEI system, I can actually look up protein. Oops, if I spell it right. Protein. And I can see all the different foods that give protein, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, this is more a JEI feature, but it's worked uh, into the mod so that it works with JEI properly. Now, if I want to look up something like vegetables, then I can look up veg, uh, or veggie in this case, and you can see all the things that will give vegetables uh, benefits. So you can see there's that notch apple again. Now, if I want to do dairy, uh, there's a very limited amount. But the thing is, with milk, you can just drink as much as you want from a cow. So therefore, it's one of the easiest ones that you could potentially get up there. Now, if you have other mods installed, like... I'll say Pam's Harvest Craft, for example. You could easily use uh, things like cheese from that or even the Animania mod where you've got your selection of cheeses and different dairy products that may also give you benefits from those as well. So you're not limited to just like cake and milk in order to get your dairy intake for the day. So there you go. You'll probably find this mod in a few of the more popular mod packs that are out there. I know that it's in uh, mod packs like uh, it was on Radon, it was in uh, all the mods 3, Sevtech. There's a, there's a bunch of mod packs out there that you can find this in. And if you have difficulty in locating it because it is not easily easy to find on something like CurseForge, I have a link in the description below if you want to add this to your own mod pack. P please feel free to uh, get it there. Let the mod maker know how much you enjoy their mod. And uh, I will see you guys around soon. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be sure to spread the mischief to others if you think that they'll enjoy this content too. Until next time, folks, I'll see ya.